This is about a killer named Origami, who kidnaps children, leaves them in a well where the father is given a shoebox and to find the killer. I'm the Origami Killer. Well, that escalated quickly. Wait, why would you do that to your own son? In this story, there are four characters. A junkie FBI who is looking into the current victim of the killer using what Google goggles could have been to trace footprints, tie tracks, and create yourself a nice surrounding area to relax yourself. But remember, say no to drugs. And this is Blake. He's a dick. An asthmatic PI or personal investigator who looks like he's still living in the 90s with his old car and typewriter looking into the past victims of the killer. A photographer who can't sleep? Surely there's more to her story than that. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. Maybe not. If that's the case, where's all the gear in their apartment? There's something going on here. And finally, our final contestant, whose son has been kidnapped, placed in a well, and has a few days before it fills up with water, is... Blacking Out Man, who does well exactly that. And he also doesn't like big crowds. Man, aren't you unlucky? Well, then again, things used to be better until his son died. No, not that one, the other one. Two years ago, you had a wife, two kids, and a nice house. A very nice house. While shopping, you buy a red balloon from a clown, which I'm fairly sure is not a good idea these days. And that was for your son, um, to run his name. Jason! 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 That's the one. Long story short, runs out in front of a car, he jumps out to save, fails, scarred for life. But more the question is, how the hell did he get on the other side of the road in the first place? Two years later, you separate from your wife, live in a rubbish house, and your son prefers to watch some weird cartoon. Until they get kidnapped by Mr. Origo himself from a park. One place you shouldn't leave a kid. It's up there with clowns. No! Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Wait, what? I didn't know there was a quiz based feature in this game. I thought it was nothing but quick time events. 4.15. Well, I'm off to a good start. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat, a black coat, and a pair of pants, brown pants. Well, let's just say he's not getting father of the year anytime soon. If you ever want to see your son again, complete the task to see how far you will go to save a small child from drowning. Also, that's what the other two law enforcement people were trying to do. And you, well, your story doesn't fit. Are you the killer? Yeah, that's not suspicious at all. And when I said it's nothing but quick time events, that's no lie. This game is just nothing but quick time. From waking up, having a shower, shaving, really? And going to the toilet, just no, no. Some of them may need a fast reaction. Others will need to do it very slowly. Damn it, I was so close. Drop it! And you never know what's in this cupboard. Could be anything. It, oh no, it's just food. Even tapping one after the other to go up and down a hill in the rain. And if you fail, You fall over and get dirty pants as shown here. That's thumbs up for attention to detail. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? No, you're not getting a drink. Remember, if you miss one or two of them, it could alter the story. Even on slow down, this car could make a difference. The only thing you can't do in this game is pay your respects. And if you ever get lost or unsure what to do, just hold down the old 2 button to see a selection of thoughts. Some may be helpful, others are not so helpful. I tell you, it's raining. Heavy rain. It's been the same for weeks. Goddamn rain. Hasn't stopped pouring since I arrived. 
the music is quite good as well. I give that a thumbs up also. <laughs> It's a good thing that this story is excellent because it would just be a very boring and slow game. Where it could take you anywhere, do one small decision, would alter the story. What happens if you didn't shoot this guy? <gasps> Hit this quick time event and slide over this car. Hey, come on, sliding over the cars are cool. But the one thing I want to know, why do you need a Boulder Max scrambled eggs for? Ah, that makes more sense. If only there was a quick time event to get a restraining order on this creepy guy. Time is running out fast for the investigators trying to find the child. I'm Michael Nettie for ICF. Hello there, sweetheart. What can I do for you? Ugh. <sighs>